Hi everyone, my name is Renya. This is the Come Together Counseling YouTube channel, and this specific video is a bit of an information session for this course I'm proposing around the subject of utopia and creative expression. So if that interests you, if that intrigues you, stick around. We live in capitalism. Its power seems inescapable. So did the divine right of kings. <laughs> Any human power can be resisted and changed by human beings. Resistance and change often begin in art and very often in our art, the art of words. Now this is a quote from Ursula Le Guin. Uh, she's a writer, very well known for her elaborate fictional worlds that are very different from our own worlds. And she engaged with the subject of utopia in her work in envisioning these radically changed worlds where people had very different approaches to things, sort of more in line with uh, what she thinks might be right, or maybe things that are not right, and, and to make us think about those things, like what would be the right way of doing this or that. And so Utopian Emergence, this course I am proposing with this video, is about us collectively engaging in this process that Ursula Le Guin was involved in as she composed and wrote about these worlds. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that together, obviously not to the same scale. Um, yeah, so let's get into what you can expect in the course. So uh, very important, this is not therapy. This course is not therapy. It's not group therapy. It is a course where we'll be engaging in media analysis. So some introductions into what that is and you know, bringing in things to talk about around the subjects of utopia and dystopia. We'll be processing our experiences individually and collectively, not so much our like individual like traumas, but more so like just how it's impacted us to live in what some might consider to be a dystopia or what is not the utopia we were promised. Uh, you know, the sort of American dream that, you know, isn't really real for many people. And the last thing you'll be engaging in is a storytelling or creative process. So this will be about processing some form of media analysis and some form of like making your own vision in some creative form of what utopia looks like for you. So the course will be emergent, hence the name Utopian Emergence, in that we'll be co-constructing, co-making it together. Uh, so we're going to discuss like what we're doing, how we're doing it, how we want to be supporting each other in that process, and the course will adapt to the needs of whoever's in it, the interest of whoever's in it. So I'm thinking of a range of like four to 12 participants will be meeting on video once a week. Uh, people who can join, I think really if, you, if, you, if you're watching this, you can join because you probably understand English and have an internet connection. Uh, age range is just 13 and up. Um, I intentionally scheduled this after school for people in my time zone. Uh, however, you can join from anywhere on earth if you have an internet connection and are competent with English. Uh, I think folks who are radical, folks who are queer, folks who are disabled might be a good fit for a group like this and in like really envisioning that changed world. I also think in terms of like, because this is a course, if you like school, uh, this might be a course for you, but also if you didn't like school, this is still a course for you. Like we're going to be taking in the parts that were good about school and leaving out the parts that were not so good. So we're going to be bringing in like the learning, uh, sometimes collaboration happens in school, and we're going to be leaving out like the grades, the judgments, the deadlines. Uh, I mean, to an extent, like the course does end at some point. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is rather than focusing on like learning objectives, we're going to be fostering a supportive environment to engage with the material as each of us see fit in that supportive space. 
So our schedule is we will be meeting once a week, Tuesdays, 7.30 to 9 Eastern time um, with a break, 10 minutes in the middle of each session. So there's very little expectations I'll have of you in between those meetings. Um, I don't really expect anything. There's going to be a ton of extra materials to engage in if that's something you would like to do. Um, and for myself, I'll be making and posting YouTube videos like each week about, you know, what we just talked about and what's coming up for the next week. So if you're just watching this on YouTube and you're wondering if you'd be able to make this or not, or it doesn't seem likely to you, you're still welcome to engage in, you know, watching the videos, following along, even like doing your own process on the side. The real difference in watching the videos versus being in the course is that the course is about the relationships. It's about like the environment we're constructing together. But the actual content of what I'm saying is going to be all on YouTube for everyone to see. And so that means that in the actual like course itself, I'll be able to play the role of more facilitator and posing questions and conversations rather than lecturing. I don't really want to do that. If you want to hear what I have to say, it's here on YouTube. Um, in terms of the, the pricing, um, I have three different tiers for pricing, uh, 30, 60, and 90 US dollars per week um, to be paid in two lump sums. And if you can't do that, just, you know, still reach out, let me know. Um, the reason I'm doing it in lump sums is so that we don't have to like go back and forth about payment every single week. We can sort of just not uh, focus too much on it. So here's the weekly schedule. Here's what you can expect. Um, each week is framed with one guiding question that is aiming at exploring a core theme. And so this will help to guide it rather than having like a strict like this is what we're covering. This will sort of help us guide our, our conversation. So week one is who are we just introducing ourselves building and the core theme is building relationships. Week two, the core question is why are we here? And the core theme is purpose, really getting into the content, the material of the course itself. Week three is why dystopia with the core theme of looking out at the world. Why is dystopia such a compelling story that is repeated to us over and over by mainstream entertainment? Week four, how has dystopia impacted us? That's the core question. The core theme is grieving. So really looking at how both media examples of dystopia as well as our lived experiences of this world being dystopian for us, looking at that. Week five, the core question is why utopia? And the core theme is dreaming of a better world. So why engage in utopia at all? Uh, that's week five. Week six, what are the stories that we want to tell is the core question. The core theme is exploration. So this is really getting into like, what do we think of utopia? Like, what does that mean to us? Uh, week seven is how will we tell our stories? That's experimentation. So there'll be some activities there. There'll be activities throughout actually, but really focusing on that week seven to like really hone in on what do we want to say in this course. Uh, week eight is how can we best support each other? So this is where we're really like building up towards like some form of creation. And we're asking like, what do we need from the group? So the core theme there is our process, right? So how can we support each other in our collective process? Week nine is what is emerging? With the core theme of emergence. So this is really a time for us to check in and really fill in the gaps of like, what do we need? And sort of like what's coming out of our process? Like, do we need to make changes? Uh, that's week nine. Week 10 is how has utopia affected us with the core theme of transformation. So really getting a chance to look at like what's happening for us as we're going along in this process. Um, weeks 11 and 12 of our group will be what have we made? Core question, core theme is sharing. So Folks will have, you know, 20 or 30 minutes to share, depending on how many people are in the group. Uh, week 13, the last week of the group is, how was it to share our stories with the core theme of vulnerability? Okay, so that's that's the course. Um, all of this stuff, there's going to be more details on my website, which you'll be able to find in the description of this video, or you might be seeing this embedded on that webpage where you're seeing more information. Um, 
yeah, go there if you want to hear more. Reach out to me through there if you want to hear more. Utopia and dystopia are always about who is describing them. So what that means is, as we're going through this process of thinking for ourselves, like what do we want utopia to mean for us? How can we construct that together? It's really about defining what do we value? Um, what is important to us? What do we want to see out there in the world, right? So if you've never thought about this stuff before, or if you're like so overwhelmed with the idea of like communicating your thoughts, um, I think this really can be the course for you. Um, I think this can be a course where we can engage in healing through this group process, right? Not through therapy. This is not therapy. So this is not the same form of healing as an individual therapy relationship, but healing through, you know, being able to envision a changed future. So healing through connection and through creation. That's what to expect from this group. When I initially recorded this video, I was thinking, hmm, this is a course announcement. Maybe it's not the time to get political. But let's be frank, it's always the time to get political. So let's talk about a utopia that has been in the news often over the past month or two. And that would be Israel. Israel is a utopia for Zionists. And it has been propped up by a lot of um, wealthy benefactors in the United States, the UK, among other places. And it's pr propped up as this like idealized place that a certain people have a unique claim to the land where they are going to make that land their own. They're going to wipe the slate clean, get rid of everyone and everyone else. And it has led to a genocide of the Palestinians who had already been there when the state of Israel was established. Um, this is what happens when utopia goes wrong. So this is what happens when utopia overlaps with fascism, is you get this idea of what an idealized society is that is entirely based on exclusion, of hierarchy, of some people being more worthy than others, of um, just destruction of the, the environment around you. Um, and you know, if, if this is your version of utopia, if this is, you know, something you believe in, I don't think this is going to be a course for you. Earlier I spoke about why uh, utopia is about who has those beliefs, like wh whose version of a better world is it? Because I think there's a wide, wide range of a world being better. Like n whoever has that thought of, oh, this world would be better, it's a reflection of what they believe. So to be very, very clear, um, Israel, their entire sense of self of the Zionist is based in this is our utopia, like we, like we own this utopia. And um, yeah, I think what it actually creates is a dystopia for both the people who live there, I think anyone who isn't prioritized by the state. It creates a dystopia for, I think, all of us around who are witnessing this happening as well. So this is what I mean when I talk about the interplay between utopia and dystopia is one person's utopia is another person's dystopia and vice versa. So just to be very, very, very clear about whose utopia I'm seeking to nurture with this course and with these videos, if utopia for you involves shared decision making, involves respect for the people around you and for the natural environment, if it involves accountability for past or current harms, this might be a good course for you. And there's also another video I made called Embodying Anarchist Values as a Therapist, where you can hear more about the things that I think are ideal ways of being in the world. If your version of dystopia involves authoritarian control, one ethnic group, um, the hierarchy of power of some people having more power than others and of them using that power to keep other people in their position. If that's a dystopia to you, this is a good course for you. If that second thing I said is your utopia, I don't know why you're here. Just see yourself out, okay? Um, 
the course is going to start the first Tuesday of February, so I expect, you know, that these spots will go fast. So if you're interested, please reach out to me via my website. And here's a brief note for my patrons. I want to give a big, big shout out to my couple of patrons who have continued to support me as I haven't been posting videos. I really appreciate that. I do intend to be more active both on YouTube and on Patreon. I uh, just had to sort of take some time away and deal with some life stuff for a little bit. Um, so in terms of what to expect on there, if you were to join, it's a big part of that is just supporting me, making sure I can continue to make these videos. Um, also connecting with other folks who connect with these videos, what I'm talking about. Um, the outlines I make for my videos will be over on Patreon. Um, I'm also going to be posting writing more regularly there, but I also want to post those on YouTube because I don't want to paywall those. The outlines will be on the other side of the Patreon paywall. So if you'd like to see behind the scenes of how I'm putting these together, that's how you can do that. Otherwise, I just really appreciate the support and of course, you know, at your own discretion, whatever you're able to do. If not, you're very welcome just to follow me. Uh, leave a comment of how you're feeling about this course. Is this something you would like to do? Are you interested in following along on YouTube? Let me know. And of course, do reach out to me directly through my website, which will be in the description, if you're interested in being a part of this course.